Hi everybody, in this video, I'll be explaining what sources B and C are talking about just in case you couldn't understand the source and you found it difficult to work on the comparison question. So as I go through the source, I'll be writing and underlining on the paper. You guys can go along with Mr. Ong. So whatever I write, I also expect you to have it on your screen. So let's look at source B together. It says it's an extract of an online article about immigration in America. Okay. So this tells you the big topic. Doesn't really tell you very much about the content yet. Doesn't tell you, give you information on where the source was produced or whatnot. So that tells you that the provenance isn't very important here in this case. So let's look more carefully at the content. It says immigration has brought many benefits to, to the United States. Okay. So I'm already in this paragraph. I'm going to be looking out for what are the, some examples of benefits that this source B talks about. It goes on to say, of the 41 Fortune 500 companies, okay, so Fortune, oops. Okay, Fortune 500, basically they refer to the largest companies in America based on their revenue, based on how much money they, they make. Money the companies make, they make. Okay, so of these 41, of these top most, the biggest country, uh, companies in America since 1985, eight of them had an immigrant founder. This means that the founder of these huge companies came from overseas. They were foreigners. And so in many ways, the United States is a stronger, richer, and more dynamic country because of international migration. So this tells you about the positive effects of immigration. So these foreigners came in and they brought about economic benefits that grows the economy of the United States. It helps the locals. And let's read the second paragraph. It says, however, any Americans feel that, or there should be many Americans feel that the country is falling short of its promise for equal opportunity. Okay, what does this mean? Equal opportunity is the idea that everybody can succeed in America. Okay, everybody can succeed. Can succeed. Okay, so you say if you're falling short of the promise, it means that there are some people who cannot succeed for what for some reason. So what is the reason why some Americans feel that they can't succeed? They say that the levels of immigration they are too high. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this portion is too high. It only causes problems to the country. Okay, if we let too many immigrants come in, it leads to Americans feeling like they cannot succeed. So, the implication is limiting, that means reducing, and selecting the right immigrants will make Americans feel more assured of equal opportunity here and restore their sense of belonging. Okay, a lot of things going on in this sentence. Okay. The first part tells you that even if you want to introduce immigrants to the country, you should reduce their number and only allow people with the right set of skills to come in then you'll benefit the rest of the country right and restore the sense of belonging it means that after a while if americans feel that hey i cannot succeed in my own country the jobs are going to these foreigners then i'm questioning is america really my home or not okay so that is a negative effect okay now let's look at source c source c is an online comment about the high levels of immigration in america you can already probably guess that this source is going to say that we should not welcome immigrants okay so it says in recent years america has been admitting that means has been allowing allowing approximately 1 million legal immigrants every year okay that means that um, when these immigrants apply for residence in america because you need to ask permission from the government to come into the country to stay so when they apply they are legally given the permission 1 million every year, which is more than the number of legal immigrants admitted to any other country. This means that America, America allows the most number of immigrants, most number of immigrants in the world, according to this source. This high level of legal immigration to America only aggravates. Okay, what's the meaning of aggravate? It means worsens certain social problems that means it causes problems in your society instead we should focus on admitting immigrants who are most likely to make contributions to solving our challenges okay i'm just going to highlight this portion most likely to solve our challenges immigrants holding advanced degrees in science tech and engineering so what does this mean 
Does this mean that we shouldn't allow any immigrants to come in? No, uh, we should only allow immigrants with high skill. Immigrants with high skill. Okay. Next, the next paragraph. On the other side, besides taking jobs from American workers, illegal immigrants also create huge economic burdens. That means they are very costly to the country. On our healthcare system, so I give you some examples, healthcare system, our infrastructure, and our public safety. Now, what does this mean? Healthcare system, you can think of it like your hospitals. So if there are too many immigrants taking up space in your hospitals, then if the, uh, an American falls sick, then they won't have place to go. That's bad. Infrastructure refers to things like your public transportation. Okay, public transportation. So in Singapore's case, if you have too many immigrants or too many foreigners, then you've got no space on the bus or you have to constantly squeeze on MRT, then that's going to be a very negative experience for you. So this paragraph is saying that there are huge economic burdens to the healthcare system, infrastructure and public safety. And illegal immigrants have violated, means they have taken advantage of, taken advantage. American immigrant immigration law, so much so that the illegal immigrant population in America is estimated to be around 11 million. My goodness. So um, 11 million people basically snuck into America. So that's why this source is complaining about the high levels of immigration. Okay. At this point, you should start to see some similarities and differences between the two sources. Similarities, you can be thinking about how both sources talk about that there should be limitations on the number of immigrants that come in. Okay, we can admit some, we can allow some of them to come in, but not too many. The difference is about whether or not there are positive impacts or is it just totally negative. Okay, so the first source, source B, there are a lot of positive impacts. Source C almost seems entirely negative. Okay, so this video, you have seen how source B and source C can be compared to talk about the levels of immigration in America.